Now we're gonna do a whip and tongue graft. And we're gonna do this on these pieces that are a little bit bigger. Uh, they're just a little bit easier to accomplish the whip and tongue. So um, first we're gonna find a scion that kind of matches our root stock and diameter. And so these are pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna clip off these actively growing pieces here and toss those. And then this is what I've got to work with here. Uh, again, since this is a spalliate, we want to make sure that we put a node on here that's going to go in a direction that we want, and so let's try to keep it uh, with our plane. And when we do that, that's going to set us up for what direction we want to make our whip and our tongue. Okay, Because this is going to be a little bit different of a cut uh, that we're going to make here. So, um, I'm going to clip off the bottom of this so that I can get rid of that funky region that's kind of drying out already. Okay, now I've got um, a nice green piece underneath of there. Anyway, um, and I want to make sure that that's going to go outward. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave off this front piece here and then a piece that matches it on the opposite thing. Again, we're gonna hold this in our chi center and we're gonna go on, a, on as much of a diagonal to cut across this um, as possible. So it's just gonna be one long straight diagonal here. Okay, and that gets to be a little bit tricky. Uh, you might wanna try a couple of times. It's okay if it doesn't go all the way um, down to infinity down here and we'll see why in a minute. So I've got just this long kind of angled on one side piece and then I'm gonna take my hand guard and I'm gonna go about, oh, maybe like a third of the way down on that stem, and I'm gonna slide my knife into it, not really at an angle, we wanna just kinda of slide it in there, and we're just trying to make a little notch in here. So we've got a whip and a tongue. All right, that's what this looks like on the side here, it's on the end. Okay, so I've just got this little notch, and um, I'm going to make an opposing piece to that on my scion, and I want to make sure that I'm paying attention, so I want this side to be the side that I'm cutting so that I can make sure that that bud is going towards the outside direction. So I'm going to take my grafting knife, and I'm going to go and pull, oops, did I do that not on camera? Pull so that I've got another long, just single straight cut on that side. If I line that up, oh yeah, that looks good right there. Okay, but what's going to happen is we're actually going to slide it so that it sits down there. All right, now I'm going to go um, down about a third of the way. Got my hand guard in place, and I, I usually like to brace this up against myself when I'm doing this so that um, I can have a pretty straight fulcrum, and I'm just going to shave that little spot there again. Okay, so see, I've shaved a little notch out of there. And then I'm gonna take these two pieces and I'm gonna line them up. This is where the um, back side of your knife comes in really handy because uh, when we went for this little slice here, this little flap at the tip is pretty wimpy. So you don't wanna be putting a lot of pressure on that to shove it into your other scion or else it's just gonna kinda of break or bend or damage. So I'm going to take my um, back side of my, of my knife and I'm going to insert that in the whip and tongue first. And then I'm going to slide the other piece kind of next to it. And then I'm going to kind of just push that down until it holds in place. Okay, now I've got a bud that's going to the outside. There's a little bit of light that's happening in here, but that's okay because I've got a lot of surface area to volume ratio contact between these two pieces. And um, so when I put the rubber band on it, it's going to hold it in place really tightly, and then that'll seal close really easily. Okay, we're down pretty much as far as I'd want to go there. We're out to the edge, and now let's wrap. Need another square paraffin. And then like this. Whip and tongue grafts heal really, really nicely usually. Um, they're very beautiful, and especially if you're doing like two different colors of wood like this is, they, they make a great kind of demonstration example when you've got like a brown piece and a green piece that, like if you're trying to have it be a show piece in your garden, 
um, people can really see the difference uh, if you have different bark types too uh, throughout any period of the season. I've got this multi-grafted apple here that you guys have seen in a different video and um, it, most of the summer when it's just leafed out and it doesn't really have fruit on it or the fruit is all just kind of in its developing stages, it looks so similar uh, that it's, it's kind of underwhelming. But then winter happens and you only see all these tags hanging in there and you're like, wow, that looks kind of like a Christmas tree. And then you realize they're all different cultivars and that's pretty exciting. All right, so we're just going to wrap this up the whole way and then we'll do the rubber band on it. Same thing where we're going to start at the bottom. Starting at the bottom is really important for the whip and tongue, especially because any of those little light spaces that we had in there um, are going to be held shut with this uh, rubber band here. Whoops. See, popped on me and it's only my third one today. Come on, you. And since these roots were pretty active and it was pushing out growth already, um, I don't think it's going to take very long for us to see results on this to have them start pushing out their bud growth and leafing out and turning into something great. All right, there we go. A whip and tongue all wrapped. Last thing. Need to write our label. Can't forget the label. Uh, so this was, again, Turnbull. T-U-R-N-B-O-L. My initials, and today is the 17th. All right, very good. Uh, that was Whip and Tongue Craft.